My name is Geshoke Peter Moidiga. You can also call me Geshoke Wabisha. I've been doing photography for the last, uh, I would call it six to seven years. I major in commercial, fashion, portrait, and documentary photography. Welcome to meet the HR show. Hi, so uh, I wanted to know, you know, while growing up, Kuna, these ideas we have built up in our heads. Like for me, I wanted to be a surgeon, but here I am, guys. So for you, how, how was it for you? Uh, for me, I was very fond of uh, doing art. Mm -hmm. So back in primary school, yeah. I used to be um, the, the kid who used to draw the charts, mm -hmm. parts of a fish, for example, yeah. the map of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So all along, it was arts for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it started with the love for art when uh, growing up. Yes. So how did you come to the point whereby you decided to venture into photography? Mm, I would say photography for me was more of grace mm -hmm. because after high school I joined a college, mm -hmm. Shangtao Media Arts College, yeah. where I did 3D animation. Mm -hmm. And uh, through that I got a friend. Mm -hmm. His name was Kush yeah. and Kush had a camera. Mm -hmm. So I was very fond of just uh, sticking close to him, yeah. asking for his camera and that is where now everything kicked in but i can also recall yeah. back in um like primary mm -hmm. at the final day yeah. my dad came with a, a camera wow so i had to photograph mm -hmm. my friends the school the dormitory everything mm -hmm. and so i like when i start to do photography in the onika recall mm -hmm. also i had this thing in me i was yeah. very fond of if you are going say on a family trip, mm -hmm. I want to be the one with the camera. You want to take the photos? Yeah, I want to take the photos. Wow. Yes. So that's how you came to know that? That photography is for me. Wow. That yes. That is beautiful. So um, you went, you said you went to uh, campus. You College, yeah. You, you studied photography mm -hmm. uh, all the way up to this point, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what would you say is a typical day in a photographer's life? In my photographer's life, yeah, <laughs> I wake up at 5.40 uh -huh. in the morning yeah. and then sure I leave the house at around 7.30 mm -hmm. and I get to the studio and the first thing is uh, I do a prayer. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. spirituality guys, we keep yeah. talking about it, very important. Yes, uh -huh. so after a prayer, at the moment where I am is just uh, marketing myself, mm -hmm. doing edits, yeah. getting clients, mm -hmm. working on photography assignments. Yeah. If I have free time, I create mood boards mm -hmm. and uh, just to keep my photography journey like nice. Mm -hmm. I also study online. Mm -hmm. I tend to see, for example, just the other day I was mm -hmm studying uh, a photographer from Spain mm -hmm. who does fashion. Yeah. So everything she does from preparing a shoot, mm -hmm. scouting location. Yeah. So I'll just to refresh my photography. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you have clients walking, uh, wanting photo shoots and mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. So what happens if a client comes in and they are nervous, they don't know what to do or what poses to take? How do you prepare a client? Mm. I love to have rapport mm -hmm. with clients. Yeah. Before even I take you a photograph, mm -hmm. I must get to know you. Mm -hmm. Get to know you. Get to know you. I can ask you a simple question like, are you enjoying the weather today? Mm -hmm. How was your morning today? Mm -hmm. Just to have a rapport with you. How have you located me? Have you found me online? Mm -hmm. Have you seen my work? Yeah. Have you been referred to? Just to mm -hmm. get to know you. What is your favorite dish? Mm -hmm. Would you want some water? Yeah. Uh, just to get to know you, help you relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, and then you give them the concept. Yes. And then now we can begin our shoot mm -hmm. after I get to know you. Oh, okay. Yes. So fresh out of uh, college, right? Did you get directly into this beautiful space that we are in right now? Or what, are the what, what was the journey like as you proceeded to where you are now? I... Uh, Actually, this space will clock two years wow. in July 1st, oh. but before that I was a freelancer. Mm -hmm. So I used to carry my camera yeah. and my lights mm -hmm. in my bag when I get a client yeah. and shoot them at 
their own location or a location where I would recommend. Mm -hmm. And when I was a freelancer, mm -hmm. I did a lot of uh, networking. Mm -hmm. So I grew like a team. Mm -hmm. I have like a makeup artist I prefer working with, mm -hmm. a stylist, yeah. different uh, photographers, mm -hmm. different videographers who are now my friend. Mm -hmm. So all along as a freelancer, it was more of networking. Mm -hmm and really putting in hard work because mm -hmm. when I was a freelancer and as I say, my pundi only fanya most work. Mm -hmm. Like from 500 shillings to a thousand shillings mm -hmm. to free work yeah, you to really a lot to of shooting. A lot out there. A so lot out there. Yeah, 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 so yeah, that yeah. people can get to know me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Um, so uh, there's this common belief that as a photographer, uh, taking photography as a career, there isn't much for you, like Utaishi Kwam Lala Hoi. That is what people think. But uh, what we want to know is how did your parents react to it, or those closest to you, when you said that this is what you want to pursue photography, that is? Mm. When I said I wanted to do photography mm -hmm. for my parents, mm -hmm. it was, I would say, 70 30. Mm -hmm. um, 70, they were like, really? Are you sure? Are you sure about yeah. this journey? Uh -huh. And thirty percent was yes, mm -hmm. but um, I would say my mom was the most comfortable mm -hmm. with me doing photography, yeah. and that really encouraged me. Mm -hmm. So photography, wa mm -hmm. sasa accept even mm -hmm. more, yeah. and they are so proud and mm -hmm. they are so happy. Mm -hmm. it is hard even for you mm -hmm. to convince to me, yeah. a journey that you don't know anything about. Exactly. Utaku skeptical. Mm -hmm. Because they appreciate me so much, mm -hmm. they are seeing me entering into a space where I don't know anything, so watakuwa yeah, shaky. But right it. now, they understand it a lot more. Mm -hmm. They appreciate it, wako happy, wako mm -hmm. proud. Yeah. Yes. So, do you think it's possible for someone to pursue photography without stepping into a class and learning it from a lecturer? Yes, mm -hmm. you can. Um, uh, in our era today, mm -hmm. Atta to Kisema 2023, yeah. a lot is happening, yeah? Mm -hmm. And at a time of COVID, things really change. Mm -hmm. People started to notice there is a lot you can do with online. Yeah. So at a way, if you have the discipline, mm -hmm. you can look at uh, one of our, this guy who used to do javelin, mm -hmm. Yego. Yeah. Learned through YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, what are you on a discipline? Yeah. You want to learn this craft, mm -hmm. you can learn. For example, what are if you want to do carpentry mm -hmm. and you go and spend six months mm -hmm. at a workshop, your carpentry, yeah. sooner or later you will learn. Exactly. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, you can, you can source information outside the classroom. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, I do. Anywhere. So, it is, you, can, you can get photography materials mm -hmm. online. Yeah. Have the discipline, learn, mm -hmm. whatever you learn, go practice, yeah. come back again, revise, and also start building your network. Uliza mm mtumonyame -hmm. uh, photography for a while, mm -hmm. steps to take, to take. Uh -huh. uh, acquire knowledge from friends, mm -hmm. online, anywhere. So Information right now, you can source it from a lot of places outside mm -hmm. the classroom. Wow. So it's important as a photographer to actually network? Very. So in order for yourself to uh, for you to call yourself a photographer, yes. there are the necessary tools that you need. Mm -hmm. What are the vital equipment and how will you acquire them as a photographer to mm -hmm. start out? Because I'm sure they're very pricey. Mm -hmm. So what would you tell a photographer there? Um, start with anything you have. Mm -hmm. Any equipment you have, yeah. any camera you have, even if it's your phone camera, mm -hmm. start with it. Yeah. And also, don't be... Usiogope, don't be, you know they say when you have one light, mm -hmm. you are in business. Yeah. And that one light mm -hmm. is the sun. I love to put it that mm -hmm. way. That one light is the sun. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. with that tiny small point and shoot camera of yours, mm -hmm. you a client on an afternoon yeah. and take very beautiful photos of him or her or the family. Mm -hmm. So start with what you have. Mm -hmm. Number two. Uh, once umengangana, try and get a camera. Mm -hmm. uh, you turn your foundation. Mm -hmm. Because 
if you want to get good at photography, mm -hmm. you click a lot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you have your camera and you're clicking every single day, yeah. sooner or later, it's a catch yeah. you get the flow. You'll get uh -huh. the flow, you'll get better. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So uh -huh. and then what else do you need? Um, you need to build a network. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. You need to hang around people who do the same thing you do. Mm -hmm. Learn uh, through apprenticeship. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's it. You ain't gain any consistency. Mm -hmm. uh, shoot every day, learn every day. Mm -hmm. um, learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. Learn from your setbacks. Mm -hmm. Learn from your work, your mm -hmm. editing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So are there other courses in as a complement photography or photography is just a unit on its own? Film. Mm -hmm. Film has photography oh. in it. Mm -hmm. And also the other part of photography, and uh, you have to really um, work on it, mm -hmm. the lighting. Ah. You understand? Uh -huh. Go back and research, mm -hmm. because even photo mm -hmm. means light. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? And a new more research, mm -hmm. what the, the, the founders of photography mm -hmm. used to work on most it was mm -hmm. light yeah now your time will go to me a natural light mm -hmm. um there is this guy a philosopher and an artist mm -hmm. uh, rembrandt mm -hmm. yeah he used yeah. to place um his subject mm -hmm. 45 degrees from a window mm -hmm. and that concept is still used up to date people yes when you place your subject mm -hmm at uh, 90 degrees from from your camera mm -hmm. and then a 45 degree light mm -hmm. you know put a beautiful picture so some people are a ruler <laughs> how do you do it to know that this is 45 <laughs> degrees and this is 90 yeah. i mean you just you just have to have the eye for it um once you have the know-how yeah. utajua 45 mm -hmm. nipale 60 mm -hmm. 90 uh, Ah, so it takes time. It takes time. Yes, Once no. you learn, you will know. At a two mathematically, you can gather yourself to where the camera is. That's yeah. straight line 90, mm -hmm. in 90, so 45 is somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Wow, that is very interesting.